Bella Thorne recently joined my site and shattered records. Some of the most famous IG models are creators, so there's a lot of money to be made. Some of the best ways to make money on the site include knowing your audience and catering to their desires. Promote it to your entire followings from all your social media accounts. Most importantly, be consistent and be able to adapt. But besides seeing our biggest growth this year, we've been able to provide people ways to produce a healthy income. This is my story. I was born in London, England, to a wealthy and prominent family. My father was a financer, a banker, at the famed Barclays Bank. I was raised in a privileged household. I didn't have to worry about money, or how to put food on the table for the next meal, or which college scholarship to apply. I owe my parents for that. I'm grateful to them. My upbringing gave me many options to choose from. I could be a doctor, a barista, a sportsman, or whatever I wanted to imagine. But coming from a family with a financial background, and being raised by a mom and dad who were regularly talking about how the economy works and business in general, being a businessman quickly took over my head. At an early age, I realized that my entrepreneurial spirit would be the next best thing for me in the coming years. But I had no idea I'd be making something so big where Cardi B would become one of the top creators. Heck, even Beyonce mentioned us in a song. Just like most of my generation, I was among the first of those who got exposed to the magic of the internet and the World Wide Web. It was amazing how it could connect millions of people across the world in such a short time. So I thought it's better to get acquainted with computers and the web. It was the 1990s and the dot-com era had just started and was skyrocketing internet and software companies. I saw many making loads of money off these businesses just by investing in their stocks. I saw guys like Bill Gates and Steve Jobs becoming billionaires with a few years with this dot-com revolution. So I thought, if they can, why can't I? Making money with the internet was lucrative and I was looking for ways to make money. I was following my dream and I loved every bit of it. It's not surprising to say that just as much as we were the first generation to be exposed to the internet, we were the first of our kind to see internet pornography. Stimulating your senses was never easier or convenient until porn websites showed up. All you got to do was not to get caught by your parents. With time, my mind got opened up to sex, and I abandoned all the restraining and barricaded social views of sex and those who take part in it. Oh, you're staring at my eyes too much. It's a little weird. Sorry. Oh, now you're just looking at my mouth. I was convinced that the sexual industry, pornography particularly, is something that is craved by even those who criticize it and yell against it. With the spread of the internet and as many people got access to it, the porn industry was booming. It went online and became viral. Having a business mind, thanks to my upbringing, I saw a great investment opportunity. Investing in a booming business sector will be beneficial in the years to come. So I thought, why not capitalize on this opportunity? Why not go ahead and do something many even dared to think of? My mind was set and with some friends, I went ahead with the plan. Shortly in 2011, our big break came in. Pornography itself is a vast industry with many subgenres. In business, it's a well-established strategy that we segment the broader market and choose a market segment to serve. I noticed at the time, the straight, gay, bisexual, and fantasy porn were saturated markets with thousands of websites. So I thought, why not look at something odd and not popular among the masses, at least for now. I chose the BDSM and fetish category as it had more room and potential to grow. In 2011, we launched GlamWorship.com. The name says it all. When it comes to porn, I have seen a million and one. You sort of become immune to the weirdness, a hazard of the job. The site was getting better by the day. More visitors, more models, and more videos. 
And that only meant one thing, more revenue and more cash. As an internet entrepreneur, it is vital to keep on the market trends and customer behaviors. And it was at this time, I saw that there was a huge demand for customizable adult content from fans. Everyone liked to customize content for their exotic fantasies, rather than looking at a directed studio porn movie. That led me to my next venture, or sort of an adventure in porn, customsforyou.com. It was a platform where the users could ask their favorite porn stars for the content they desired. The site was a mega hit and a super success. So successful that I could sell it for a hefty pile of Benjamin Franklin's. Now that I was more cash rich, this gave me more freedom to look for more growing business opportunities. And then I came across the perfect one. One that would change the world. One that could make me the next Hugh Hefner. There are so many social media platforms that you can't even keep count anymore. They are all different, with unique aspects for each site. Yet, almost all of them have one thing in common. They all had placed restrictions on adult content, nudity, and sex. This is where I came and put my own twist. Once again, I capitalized on the opportunity. In 2016, OnlyFans.com was launched. The idea was simple. OnlyFans is a subscription site that enables content creators to monetize their influence. This meant that the fans pay a subscription to view their favorite stars. Imagine Instagram or Pinterest without censoring sexual content. From the subscription revenue, the creators get 80% while we get 20%. That's a win-win for all of us. Although many porn stars, glamour models, and sex workers use the platform, it's not just limited to sex. Don't crush my face. Don't crush my face. That, that was not a... Okay. You can be the creator of any content. May it be recipes, music writing, whatever. However, the site revolutionized the sex industry and even pornography. During the COVID lockdown, we saw the biggest surge in our business and today, there are more than 50 million subscribers and almost 700,000 content creators. And our revenue has just passed the billion dollar mark, making us a force to contend with in the world of social media. Perhaps the biggest threat and the barriers came from society. Sex is wildly taboo and a topic that many discuss in private or when they're drunk. So naturally, many people are quick to judge me and what I do and they almost always come at me with morals, ethics, and social standards. But I don't worry about them, nor do I listen to a word they say. After all, why would I? They are not the ones living in a two million pound mansion in London. I am. Take my advice. Once you see a great business opportunity, or any opportunity for that matter, don't let it slip by. Grab the hold of it and hold it firm. If you listen to the rest, you'll end up just like them. Average, normal, and of course, probably broke. I am Timothy Stokely, dot-com millionaire and founder of OnlyFans.